Hi guys! Welcome to our educational vlog. Let me introduce myself. My name is Angelo Dave Ganyete, and then we'll be followed by my fellow groupmates. I am Kailin May Nipoon. I'm Chiang Lei Palada. And in today's video, we will dive deep into Ian Stewart's book called Nature's Numbers that was published in 1997 and discover the adventure that awaits us in chapter 4 entitled The Constant of Changes. And in that chapter, we will also be able to have a glimpse on how mathematician views our natural world. There, it is stated that two opposing viewpoints on how mankind observes nature have evolved throughout human history. One line of thought holds that the universe obeys fixed immutable rules and that everything exists in well-defined objective reality. Whereas the other believes that there is no such thing as objective reality and that everything is flux and all is change. The first viewpoint has played a significant role in the development of science. However, there are more and more signs that the prevailing cultural background is beginning to adopt the second ways of thinking. Before we begin, let me ask you, what's the first thing that comes in mind when you hear the word Newton? I guess the thing that comes into your mind when you hear the word Newton is either loss of motion, gravity, or falling objects. Am I right? We'll first talk about calculus, which is the discovery or invention of Isaac Newton together with Gottfried Leibniz. With their discovery, they provided the techniques of integration and differentiation. Both techniques complement one another or one influence the other. Its two basic operations imply that if you know any of the functions position, velocity, acceleration, it is possible to calculate the other two. Differentiation, to be precise, is a technique for determining rates of change, whereas integration is a technique for undoing the effects of differentiation in order to isolate the starting variables. Newton's law of physics makes it possible to use mathematical processes to describe how nature changes. For example, the heat equation, which determines how heat flows through a conducting body, is all about the rate of change in the body's temperature. A rate of change is about the difference between some quantity now and its value an instant into the future. Equations of this kind are called differential equations. Differential equations also aid in the understanding of phenomena involving rates of change. For instance, differential equations help in an understanding of disease, weather, and climate prediction, traffic flow, financial markets, population growth, chemical processes, brain function, tumor growth, electrical circuits, planetary motion, and radioactive decay. Okay, so let's further define a differential equation. From calculus, we know the word differentiate means compute a derivative. And one definition of differential equation is an equation containing a derivative. This actually explains to some extent the wide applicability of differential equations. Because remember that a derivative represents a rate of change. And that rate of change can be anything from a rate of population growth to a rate of radioactive decay. Let's take a look at some examples of an equation that contains derivatives. To explore more about Newton's discovery, let us take a voyage to outer space. Have you ever wondered how the Earth is able to float in outer space? Sir Isaac Newton discovered 300 years ago that the gravity of the Sun is what keeps us in place. Newton's discovery of the universal law of gravitation rested upon a solution of describing the universe in terms of differential equation and then solving it. In Newton's law of universal gravitation, he assumed that the same kind of attractive force must exist between any two bodies anywhere in the universe. The mathematical formula for motion was solved back then. Some examples include laws of friction, Ohm's law, and Joule's law. Newton and his successors were unable to find exact solutions for a system of three or more bodies, such as Moon, Earth, Sun, and the entire solar system. Instead, they tried to devise methods to calculate approximate numbers. For example, 
Around 1860, the French astronomer Charles Eugene Delaney filled an entire book with a single approximation to the motion of the moon, as influenced by the gravitational attractions of the Earth and the Sun. Other problems that have approximate algorithms are vertex cover, traveling salesman, set cover, and shortest superstring. Wait, we're not done yet. Keep an eye out because I will be discussing about Xiongxia. In 1994, Xiongxia proved that a system of three bodies is not integrable since it demonstrates Arnold deficient, which was discovered with Vladimir Arnin. Arnold deficient produces an extremely slow random drift in relative orbital position. However, this drift is not truly random. It is an example of type of behavior now known as chaos, which can be described as apparently random behavior with purely deterministic causes. Other examples of chaotic behavior include the Lorentz attractor, Hannon attractor, double pendulum, and Bonovic stadium. Notice that this approach again changes the meaning of salt. First, the word meant find a formula, then its meaning changed to find approximate numbers. Now, it effectively means, tell me what the solutions look like. It is wrong to see this development as a retreat. For what this change of meaning has taught us is that for questions like three body problem, no formulas can exist. Oh. Ian Stewart's Book of Nature's Number is a wealth of knowledge and offers a fresh perspective on how mathematics is used. Stewart presented the idea of constant of change through differential equations and the relation to change. He emphasized it by demonstrating how the meaning of solved changes over time with emergence of new constant as time passes by. Ian Stewart provides a perspective of the natural world that is not only based on mathematical processes, but also a qualitative description of patterns seen in nature. In fact, our universe is filled with numbers, patterns, and constant that undoubtedly cause change.